Hi, I'm Jim and we are in the Cortina and we've got a problem. I can't get it to run. So it's not run since, I'm going to say November. Um, had some problems when I we went off to get the door skin done. Couldn't get it to run. Uh, left it at that, thought, well, I'll sort it. Um, couldn't get it, still couldn't get it to run over Christmas. Tried a few things and then found in the new year that the wiring loom needed some work and put it off because I didn't want to do wiring. Um, I have actually gone back and rewired the majority of the car now and that's going to come in a later video when I've got the last few bits finished. Basically I'm waiting on the rev counter um, and then I can test it all once it's running and then say everything works and I can wrap the loom and happy days with Brow there actually. Um, but before I could tell you about one of the some of the other issues I've had with the engine. One easy one was this pulley. This is the pulley that was has been on the engine since it went back into the car. And what I've found is somebody, I didn't buy this new by the way. I, it came with one of the engines I believe. Somebody has put two timing marks on. So we've got this one here and then about 90 degrees in front of that, they've got this one. Don't know why. Figured, take the pulley off. And um, this is a standard one. Uh, this is one of my spare ones. That's where the timing mark should be. So, fortunately, I had one of these painted up, which I did at the same time as when I was painting the engine months ago. Um, so, I've put that on and Things look better. I was getting a hint of fire, but nothing. I have rebuilt a Lucas 20, 23D distributor. And it appears that's not the right answer because I can't get it to run with that. I can't get it to run with its stealth ignition uh, distributor that I bought from AccuSpark years ago. And that's the distributor that had been on it in the videos where I got it to run. The only reason I was going for vacuum advance was because the AccuSpark one doesn't have vacuum advance because I was planning on putting bigger carbs on. And I think quite honestly, I don't need that right now because I'm running the standard Weber carb, which I'll show you in a sec. So, Um, I've lost my train of thought. So if I put the ignition on, we are getting oil pressure. It's a bit slow, but we're getting oil pressure. So yeah, we've got oil pressure. We've also got some fuel. Great. We've got 12 volts coming in here. We're getting 12 volts at the coil. This is the distributor, no vacuum advance. But that's worked in the past and I seem to be getting spark when I put a plug up, take the lead off, put the plug up to here. Carb this morning has just been stripped, rebuilt and had everything blown out. Can't see any issues, no blockage, blockages and all the jets are standard. The inlet and exhaust has been off, new gasket, when I did the exhaust manifold a few weeks ago. So I'm a bit stumped. So I seem to be getting fuel, spark, timing's questionable, but got no reason to question it at the minute. Um, Valve gaps are correct, spark plug gaps are correct. So I'm drawing a blank. If you've got anything I could try or any suggestions, please get in touch. But this is the joys of owning car, sick cars, I suppose.
Anyway, stay safe. See you soon.